Sama terus Suksma. So at Telkom, here at Batik, not only the participants can engage in various discussions, but they can also enjoy special Indonesian coffee like this one. And speaking about discussions, one of the topics discussed is about AI. And to know more about this, we will be discussing it more with our next speaker. And so at Telkom, to know more about the trends that is going on in the digital telco industry, we have with us Neil Barman, General Manager and Business Head of Core AI. So hello Neil, thank you for being with us and taking the time. Thanks Sarah. And now Neil, we want to know more especially regarding the trends in the digital telco, especially from Core AI's perspective. Can you please tell us how is the trend going forward, especially in AI? So from Core AI's perspective, see we had been doing business extensively in the, in the matured world. Uh, in, in North America and Europe, we have built this business over the last decade. And we have seen the evolving trend uh, in the way conversational AI has been adopted. From being just a small dot on the website to today, uh, the humongous adoption of chat GPT. Uh, so, the, so the world is catching up and brands today, uh, especially in the, in the telco domain, is leveraging AI for uh, engagement, commerce, support, so the whole nine yards uh, is, uh, is the engagement that we're seeing. And um, it's an overlap that's happening between generative AI and conversational AI. This is here to last. Uh, it's definitely gonna be a more AI-driven, automation-first uh, industry. Uh, as an industry, telcos have been very receptive to technology. It's a technology-driven, probably the the most technology driven industry that's available uh, today and uh, from from a region standpoint we are seeing the the emerging trends across asia being extremely high and receptive in adopting ai and um, giving it the right flight that it needs for the enterprise to see the success or derive the roi from the investment that they're doing in ai and regarding AI, especially um, the discussion that is going on, how they are, there are fears, especially in how it will eliminate human jobs and how, how AIs will be taking over. There are these cautious um, you know, concerns, especially from the employees of companies and organizations. How will we respond to that in the future? What do we need to prepare? <laughs> you know, if I, if I had a dollar for every time I've been asked that question, I'll be a millionaire today. <laughs> Uh, so, so yeah, that's something which is, which is not new. Um, it's something we've been hearing for a very long time. We have to understand that technology and the human element of it will work uh, not in silos but in collaboration. And enterprises today understand that that is where the success is. Uh, it is going to be interdependent to make each other more efficient. Like with the adoption of AI, the human element that is available or is prevalent in a business is going to see higher efficiency coming out of the workforce. Similarly, with the, with the help of the, the learnings that will be input by the human element in a business, the AI is going to get more and more intelligent to serve the business purpose for which AI is adopted. So I think it's a, it's a successful marriage and uh, not a heartbreaking breakup for either one. Okay, and how can we ensure that organizations globally and also regionally aligns with the ongoing trends and also the advancement of technology? I think that's going to be an obvious choice. Organizations, um, see, we we just went through an era of an experience renaissance uh, when the pandemic happened. Um, most of the organizations found it challenging because the preparedness to perform business in a remote environment was not something they were accustomed to. So I think COVID gave us the thrust that we needed uh, in order to take that leap jump and, and go probably, I mean, catapult our, our technology investment 10 years ahead. And in a way, it's been good. I mean, because of uh, the, the tailwind that COVID brought in, Today, organizations are much more technologically advanced or prepared for any such certainty, uh, whether it be uh, another another um, pandemic or, an, or a sad episode like what we saw gripping the world uh, to an, an, a market crash or, an, or a business disaster. 
I think technology is going to prevent a lot of these uh, occurrences from happening in the businesses and the businesses are going to see the benefit of adopting technology. If any business is not going to adopt technology, um, it's going to get obsolete very soon. So I think it's an obvious choice for enterprises today. Okay. And what do enterprises and organizations need to prepare in adopting it? Uh, open to changes and I think uh, the first change of course there being that technology is evolving at a much faster pace than what it used to do say about 10 years ago or 5 years ago. We, we saw the, the, the trend of um, meta world uh, coming up in a bubble and, and then evaporating in no time. Uh, uh, we are seeing the, the era of Gen AI and which is making enterprises uh, perform a lot of redundant tasks or, or a far-fetched long-term task being completed in a very shorter period of time. Uh, I think the enterprises systems are becoming more efficient. Today enterprises have more meaningful data or they are making more meaning out of the data that they already have. And I think um, that's what the enterprises are going to adopt. And only with this adoption will they be able to excel. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there is the high talk of, you know, security and also um, the adoption of AI in a secure and safe manner. How can you address those concerns as well? Absolutely. That's, a, that's, a, uh, that's actually my favorite question uh, so far, whatever you've asked. Of course, security is going to be uh, a primary concern in an enterprise environment when you're adopting um, technology or you're, you're, um, you're embedding AI. And uh, as, as we understand, um, there are certain industries, certain regions which are bound by regulations and compliances where you have to run any technology in a secured environment. So I think in that case, it's going to be uh, a few market leaders who have really done the research and built technology over years will be able to run technology safely and securely, host the data uh, in a secured environment. And this has been one of our primary uh, lookout when we have built technology in Core.ai. So over the last 10 years, we have deployed it for, for some of the big names on Wall Street uh, in, the, in the banking and insurance and healthcare domain, where data is extremely sensitive. Uh, and in, in these industries, what we've done is we have enabled our technology to be operative even when it's running from behind their firewall. So that means we are today uh, completely equipped to run technology in a, in a complete secured environment as uh, preferred by the enterprises. And I think that's where we are heading to. So the adoption is going to be humongous, but at the same time, we have to ensure that we are adhering to the compliances and running it in a secured environment. All right, Neil, uh, besides AI, of course, the industry and also the technological advancement is very, very fast. Absolutely. From your point of view and also your experiences going forward, what other trends that we need to look out for? So I think generative AI, so, so Gen AI, of course, is, is here for the long haul. Uh, we are going to see a lot of the, as I earlier mentioned, a lot of the redundant tasks uh, which were performed by the human element is going to fade out. We are going to see the human element being invested and for the good uh, into more smarter work uh, in an organization. We're going to see AI being taking over a lot of the redundant repetitive work. But at the same time, AI and technology today is intelligent enough to, to perform tasks much more smartly. Um, if you have interacted with AI, say about three to four years back, there was a sense of frustration in the way you give your inputs. Uh, I mean, I'll tell you, I, I recently booked a flight ticket where my command uh, to, the, to the voice system was, book me a flight on a Saturday with a vegan meal, uh, on an aisle seat, and afternoon flights preferred. And um, even though I had a long statement, which is sometimes difficult for even human beings to capture, uh, AI captured it smartly, and my, I mean, there was no queuing. I didn't have to wait. My entire task was done in no time. And so it was done correctly as it well. It was done yeah. correctly as well. So we are going to see this kind of 
experience enhancement is going to come in with the adoption of technology and uh, uh, it's a beautiful world out there that uh, we are gonna we are gonna envision with AI. Okay, and other than trends, something that is also discussed every single day about the industry is transformation, collaboration, and of course competition. Yes. These three items are three words. How do you view these? Um, Transformation, yes. Uh, transformation, you cannot you cannot move away from transformation. You have to ride the wave of transformation. And I'm in the business of offering transformation, so so that's something I I live by every day. Collaboration, yes. And we spoke about the collaboration between the human element and technology. Um, the the industry is moving towards that, where we are going to see technological collaboration. We are going to see human and technology collaboration, different technology collaborating, becoming a unified support mechanism for enterprises. It's going to play the pivotal role uh, in the technology landscape for any enterprise. And it's going to be, I mean, that day is probably not far when we would have a device like Alexa and the way I told you I, I asked for the flight ticket, we would be able to get enterprise work done uh, but, but uh, by just giving a single command. And competition, yeah, so if there is more competition, then uh, the obvious answer is that you're in the right space. If you have no competition, uh, it's good in a way because you're, you're probably uh, playing in a, in a green shoot field, but uh, then there's always a high risk element to it. Uh, and uh, we are seeing kind of uh, Gen AI and conversational AI companies mushrooming every day. So that just gives the hope that we are probably in the right space doing something good and, and something being a pioneer of uh, conversational AI, having done only this for the last uh, decade, uh, more than a decade. I think uh, competition is something which, which we respect. Uh, at the same time, it's not something which uh, kind, kind of uh, involved, which is deeply involved in our decision making. Um, my yesterday is my competition today <laughs> and my tomorrow should be a better day. Okay, and Neil, since we are here at Batik 2023, yes. from your point of view, also your experience right now, can you please tell us more about the discussions being held and about the outcomes or probably the discussions and also, let's say, the business ma matching that you have experienced throughout the... So I, I came in yesterday and um, I was a little taken aback uh, because uh, I was here in Batik last year as well. Uh, I was a little taken aback uh, by the, the day being uh, so calm and, and the day being uh, uh, so smoothly running. Uh, this morning to now, uh, I mean, the, the experience has been electric. The environment is electric. Uh, people are supercharged. Everybody's talking technology. They understand the technology. I mean, it's a different kind of adrenaline uh, to be here in Batik and uh, talk about the technology. And uh, yeah, we are seeing very meaningful conversations. We are, we are uh, very intrigued to learn how enterprises are talking about technology and what they want to do about technology going forward. So overall, uh, it's a phenomenal experience, uh, loving it. I'm loving it. And thank you very much, uh, Neil, for being with us on Heard on the Street. And we wish you the best of luck and also enjoy the conference. Ahead. Thanks, Vera. Thank you so much. Thank you. And so, Batalcom, that was our discussion with Neil Barman, the general manager and business head of Core AI. Stay with us on Heard on the Street for more discussions with other speakers of the Batik Conference 2020.